And here we go. Grand Finals spawning down in the bottom right for Psystorm Gaming. It is Max Pax. In the blue. And his opponent spawning up at the top left for Mouse Sports. It is Hero Marine. In the red. Ooh, gas first. Gas first from Big Gabe. All right. All right, all right, all right. Hmm. What's he going to do with this? If you go one gas, gas first, you can go for like a one base, very quick reactor Hellion drop or reactor. Yeah, reactor Hellion drop. Could be pretty cool. I would actually love to see something like that. I think that would be amazing. Amazing. going to see here probe for max packs did get all the way in did see that it's just a uh, single gas reaper looking around saying hey do you uh you got anything sneaky anything suspicious max packs building a uh very quick shield battery in his mineral line. So he's going to go aggressive across the map with this first adept. And well, he's actually not going to need the shield battery because here Marine's staying at home with this first Reaper. Is okay. It is going to be quick starport, but I think it's just going to be with mine drop. Max Pax does get to scout the command center. Doesn't get to see the factory or the starport, so good positioning on that from Hirmarine. Great positioning, in fact. And Hirmarine gets to see the Twilight Council. Gets to see the second gateway. This is very effective for Hirmarine here. Max Max, meanwhile, looks like he picked off a single Marine. Yeah. Oh, but is he going to lose the Adept? Oh, Hirmarine, if it goes after the Shade, might he be able to chase it down? No, I don't think so. Oh, actually, maybe. Oh, here Marine. Wow. Barely got it. Almost lost the Hellion and didn't get anything. But just barely gets the uh, gets the Adept. That was a really funky way those units moved. So uh, neither of them was really particularly well prepared for it. It's going to be four gate blank. All right. And this is funny because we've got a cloaked Banshee coming out of here Marine which can simultaneously be extremely good against this and can also really suck against it. Uh, here Marine, a little bit supply block that's gonna cut into his Marine production just a tiny bit, but not a, not a disaster. Didn't block his Siege Tank production or the Banshee or SCVs. Now, Max Max, probably at this point, the most He is probably the most, uh, the strongest four gate blink player, the most, uh, well known four gate blink player. He does it more than anyone at this point. And he's really damn good with it. Now, the one shield battery in the main base is actually going to help out so much against the singular banshee. And it will be two banshees, but the first one is coming forward. We do have that Hellion from earlier. Well,. It's staying alive means he gets a second probe. That's kind of nice. Is there an observer here? No, there is no observer. It is being constructed right now. Where are the siege tanks? There's one of them getting in position in the main base. 
Stalkers are going to blink up to the high ground and Siege Tank ooh, will be able to get some good fire. Max Max splitting up the target fire very nicely, anticipating where uh, Hero Marine was going to fire the tank shots. And that Siege Tank from the low ground trying to get back up to the high ground. Max Max getting so much work done with this four gate blink and showing why he is such a prodigious user of this build. He is so damn good with it. Hero Marine is just going to be forced to tap out. Wow. All right, so this was one of the situations where the Cloak Banshees were not the play. All uh, right, here we go. Game two. Spawning up at the top right for Psy Storm Gaming. It is Max Pax in the blue. And his opponent spawning down in the bottom left for Mao Sports. It is Hero Marine in the red. Going gas first again. Very interesting. Uh, yeah, Hero Marine just didn't have enough to hold that four gate blink. It is such a scary attack. Such a scary attack, and Max Pax executes so well. All right. Uh, let's see what he goes for again. Hero Marine has been frustrated in the past with uh, the losses he suffered to Max Pax's four gate blank, and it's hard to blame him. It, it's <laughs> he hits you really hard with it. He hits you really damn hard. Max Pax, ooh, getting a fair amount of damage on this one SCV. I wonder if he recognizes from the timing that it's a gas first. Hero Marine will go for the one one uh, one racks expand. Okay, Max Max does see it. Good job checking, knowing that it could be right up against this corner. And Max Max opening up gate cybernetic score into Nexus. And he gets a cybernetic score done at 159, which is a nice quick timing. Usually the benchmark is two minutes, so if you're beating that, that is really impressive. That is extremely good. Now, this time, Hero Marine is going to cross the map with this Reaper. Max Max double chrono boosting out his first two units. Oh, he disguises the fact that he uh, has the Adept there. It does get two shots, but Hero Marine will get out of there in short order. Max Max, he's going to go for a three gate here. With this, we're going to see a Chrono Boost on his Warp Gate most likely next. Oh, Probe. Oh my god, no, Hero Marine. No! No! Hero Marine, so unlucky. Oh, that is unfortunate. And Hero Marine is going very fast third CC. I'm no expert, but I am pretty sure that when your opponent does an aggressive three gate play against you... Opening up with a fast third command center is not the best thing for that. Oh, the pro pull was just a little bit too late in the natural. Otherwise, he could have killed that. Uh, Hero Marine landing his third command center. Well, his natural command center before he morphs it into an orbital. But not going to gain the benefits of that because the adept keeps him from going to the low ground. Now, what did Max Pack see? Okay, he's seen the factory. Now he sees the cyclone. Oh, he cancels the adept, but... Probably should have just let the shade finish. I, I mean, it wouldn't have made any difference, I don't think. We do see a siege tank coming on out. Hero Marine. Oh, will get pushed back by this adept. Uh, Max Max has got to be very careful with these stalkers. He is getting into blink behind this. Two more stalkers coming on in. Cyclone also has to be extremely careful here. He cannot afford to lose that. Until the Siege Tank comes out, that is the linchpin of his defense. And as I say that, there's the Siege Tank. Cyclone will get a lot of damage with the lock-on. Ooh. Max Pax does take a big tank shot to the face. And so far, so far, Hero Marine's doing an excellent job of holding this. Max Pax splitting the target fire of his Stalkers up so perfectly. Ooh, that's a big set of losses for Max Pax. He just lost like five Stalkers. And he's going to lose this one as well. 
Yeah. Oh, no, that's five stalkers now. Cyclone does go down, but I mean, this was this was phenomenal value for Hiram Rain. And behind this, he is on three CCs. This is such an amazing start here for, uh, for Hiram Rain. Reaper finally gets cleaned up from the main base. How many siege tanks are there? There's two siege tanks. Uh, because the follow-up is so often blink, I do think you need to keep building siege tanks at least for a little bit. Especially with Stim so far away. Uh, very nice little Sim City here from Hero Marine. That was an amazing hold from Hero Marine. I mean, he just looked so comfortable. Behind this, very quick robotics bay from Max Pax, but Hero Marine's ahead. Hero Marine is solidly ahead. Uh, does throw down the depot top hat, which. It's not the best thing. It's not what you want to be doing, but it's it's not the worst thing in the world either. Now, the obvious advantage that Hero Marine has here is the economy. His economy is fantastic compared to that of his opponents. Triple SCV production, triple mule production. Well, not mule production, but just triple mule. Uh, and Hero Marine already getting up to his fourth and fifth barracks. This is just a, this is a sexy looking situation he finds himself in. Oh, Max Pax will find a little bit of an opening in the main base. Ancient Cistern is a huge map with the main base. But can't find too much. Picks off, well, he picks off a few Marines. Resources lost is actually not as bad for Max Pax as I thought it would be. But he did retain his Stalkers after the first, uh, first stage. Like he trapped his probe for a moment, but just cancels the gateway to let it back out. The probe's going to have to work off that debt. That's 37 minerals that he has to work out. So that's going to be eight mineral trips before he's before he's out of the indentured servitude. Max Pax yeah, picks off another Marine, gets out before the siege tank can fire. Max Pax could blink to the left side and go after those Marines, but I think he anticipates that it might be a bait play. And, I mean, he picks off two more Marines right here. He's really softening these Marines up. This is actually... Uh, fortunately for Hero Marine, he's about to have his Stim Combat Shields and Double Medivac on the field. But it does... Wow, more Marines getting picked off. We've seen we've seen now, like, eight or nine Marines go down in the last little bit. Something about that is almost scarier. The fact that those Zealots just swept in with their charge and killed the, the two Marines there. It's not actually scary. Uh, scarier, I should say, but it, it just feels super scary. How many siege tanks we have? We've got four siege tanks. That's, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. And that will deal with the Colossus, at least initially. Max Pax, oh, look at this, setting up with lots of little Zealot runbys here. Couple more Marines going down as they just try and figure out what's happening. Oh, Hero Marine did anticipate Max Pax switching this gateway back on, and he will get the kill on the pylon and additional gateway. So by not killing the gateway straight up before, he actually baits out an extra pylon kill. Oh, single Zealot does uh, find this army kind of marauding around. Ooh, Zealots on the right side are going to get found. Excellent stuff from Hero Marine here. He knows that Max Pax really loves these plays, but Max Pax is going to pounce on a tank that was just very much on its own. Ooh, this feels scary for Max Pax. He's about to get concaved on in a big way. Interference Matrix, he's switching off two of the Colossus here, but we will see the uh, War Prism ferrying them out. And Max Pax, wow, that, that should have been. And by should have, I mean on paper, when you look at it, that felt like that was going to be a crushing victory for Hero Marine, but Max Pax salvages that. That was some really uh, heads-up micro, lifting the Colossus out of the way and just fighting his way through on the right side so that he doesn't uh, breaks through the surround, basically. Now behind this second robotics facility on the way, fourth Nexus is done for Max Pax. He's getting his 2-1 upgrades, adding on a couple Archons. Max Pax has really evolved his PVT 
massively over the last, like, I would say a year. He's really given it a huge facelift. Hero Marine did get the second energy bay and armory a little bit quicker than... Uh, not that he could support. This is really funky right here. Oh, Raven will go down. That is a big force of Marauders. Disruptor, no, it's a little bit too far forward. Max Pax losing, uh, losing it. A couple of probes fell somewhere. Max Pax also getting a fifth Nexus. Looks like maybe a Widowmine drop on the left side. I'm not sure. That is a lot of Marauders, by the way. 17 Marauders, 14 Marines. Uh, and here we're in getting up into the Ghosts, which that is the big reason why you don't want Archons in this matchup. Now, it is worth noting that Hero Marine has been relying on the tanks to deal with the Colossi. Only just now adding on Vikings and not in large numbers. Mass Marauder can do the trick, but it does rely on a big concave. Max Pax uh, still only mining off four gases, but he's getting a lot of value out of them. There we go. Now the second starboard kicks in. And Hero Marine will be able to get a meaningful number of Vikings out on the field. Oh, Widow Mine. Ooh, friendly firing on top of the army. A bit of a mind drag there from that Zealot. Meanwhile, War Prism not going to be able to get into the main base. Actually, it could siege up right here and warp in a little bit. Here comes the attack from Hero Marine, though. He's going to try and get in on top of these Colossi, but he won't be able to find them just yet. One Viking... Uh, with its dying breath getting the Colossus there. Great split from Hero Marine against that first Disruptor. Second one will get a pretty decent connection, but can Max Pax actually get out of here without losing everything? It is looking super scary for him. He needs more Disruptors behind this. He's got one more about to join up. Zealot's coming in as well. These Vikings, not going to be the most helpful, so they will land to try and add some value. Meanwhile, Zealot's actually finding some reinforcements here. That's kind of neat. Cutting these off. Oh, your Marine. Oh, that Marauder. No, the charge completes and he will get the Marauder. Your Marine doing his best to keep that alive, but not able to do so. Uh, we've got 11 gateways on the field here for Max Packs. War Prism just going home on the right, on the, yeah, right side. Max Packs, that was still not terrible for him. He lost all his Colossus. Oh, actually, hang on. He's got a very tech light army. Ooh, this is actually going to be really tough to deal with this Terran force. Oh, well, that's not what you want to do with a War Prism, that's for sure. Disruptor shot. Oh, from downtown, almost connecting. Oh, finds two ghosts. Oh, the army. Oh, Hero Marine split. Max Pax counter split. And another big connection right there. Max Pax getting some massive shots with these disruptors. Meanwhile, the Zealot Stalker army on the left side drove, drove Hero Marine back. And now it's Max Pax maxed out, building a bank. And Hero Marine going to lose a couple of tanks in the middle of the map and could end up losing a whole lot more. Oh, Widowmine does get an okay connection. Scan. Oh, will reveal the Observer. Max Pax, though, still able to disrupt her down the uh, Widow Mine. Plus three weapons for Max Pax is about to complete. That's going to put him back in the... Well, it's actually going to even the upgrades up, technically. Hermarine does have plus three on the way. Hermarine, at this point, is in some trouble. But he's got a big concave set up. Disruptors. We're going to try and cover the flank. Max Pax... Hang on, this side, uh, this fight from Hero Marine is so well constructed, but Max Pax is going to be able to cover his retreat and gets a decent disruptor shot on the way out. Ooh, almost getting a nice one there as well. Max Pax not able to find anything on the bottom right. Now it is, uh, it is Hero Marine who's still maxed out. Max Pax on 93 probes, by the way. That is a ludicrously big economy. Max Pax just recently added on the, uh, well, 5th and 6th and now 7th and 8th gases. God, this is such a chaotic game. I love these games. This feels like ZBT. We are going to see Disruptors. Oh, coming on forward. They will get avoided. Little counter harassment. Oh, that's a big Disruptor shot. Center mass of the army. Hero Marine trying to chase. Oh, going up a ramp feels like a risky proposition. 
The splits are going to have to be on point. Uh, Hero Marine. Oh, that's a big disruptor shot. Another one getting a massive connection. And Hero Marine is struggling against the big balls of Max Bax. They are flying in from everywhere. 14 Zealots just got warped in. They are going to reinforce this army. This is... This is a lot of Zealots for Max Bax. Hero Marine did get like two probes on this side of the map, but that's it. Now we've got another base coming up for Max Max. Big EMP. We need to see Liberators being added on at this point. Disruptors will get... Oh, two of them get taken out, but one of them gets a big shot. Big pool of blood behind this. Underneath that army, and Hero Marine is struggling to keep scaling with Max Max. Hero Marine has now lost more resources and has been severely outmined. Well, actually, not that bad. I thought it was going to be worse. Put a mine. Gonna get uh, taken out by the disruptors. Hiramri needs to hold this base desperately. Max Max, meanwhile, DTs on the left side. They don't have blink, but they're just gonna walk in on top of this planetary. They, they might just kill it off. They're plus three. Oh, it's five DTs. The repair is going to be enough, and that's why you want that blink on those DTs. Meanwhile, disruptor does get an okay connection. Max Max still... Well, actually, now he's behind in resources lost with the loss of all those DTs. They are expensive units. 250 resources a pop. Oh, that's another big disruptor shot. That one connecting on a ghost and a couple of bio units. Max Max really getting some huge value. Disruptors. Oh, nice dodge with the liftoff. Is there enough healing here to keep this command center alive? The answer is... Oh, just barely, yes. Max Max disengaged just a moment too soon. There is a counterattack coming in from Hero Marine on the top side of the map. Max Max is all of a sudden on the massively on the back foot. Widowmind gets a couple of probes on the way out. Hero Marine. I can't believe he both held that base and was able to get a big counterattack done. Very well done. Oh, this army is very overstamped. These Zealots, well, they're going to do pretty well. But it looks like Hero Marine just has enough. Max Max disengaging, frightened of this force. And another base falls. I don't know if Hero Marine knows about the top left base. He needs to find out about it, though. Max Max still has a big bank. Oh, this base in the middle is going to go down as well. That's going to be a lot of dead probes on, the, on this end. If Max Max had killed off this base, would have been probably totally fine for him. I love the transition back into Colossus, by the way. Oh, Hero Marine. A rare miss rally, losing a couple of these units. Oh, he's actually going to save these two Marauders. Just enough HP to stim on this one Marauder. Uh, Medivacs. He's got 12 Medivacs, actually. Wow. I was just going to say he's very low on energy, but only on this one. And now Hero Marine is going to find his base. Max Max, the... Well, these static defenses are not going to do enough. They will buy a little bit of time. Hero Marine. Oh, can he get out? Yep, no blink available. And now Max Max is in some big trouble. The two Colossus are going to maybe be able to hold this base. Max Max has remaxed again, and he's still got a decent bank disruptor coming in from the back. Oh, here Marine has killed so much of Max Max's economy in the last little bit. Bunch of stalkers warping in on this right side. Here Marine doubled back to pick up an extra unit, but he will be able to get away. Max Max at this point. He just needs to push. Who was a recall already used? It is, in fact, on cooldown. Oh, Max Max balling up all his units on the left as if to do a recall, but he can't. Hiramarine, though, is going to disengage because he is scared of this army. And Max Max still does have a lot of potential. His army is so far ahead in tech. The disruptors are such a big advantage for Max Max. Ghost does get taken down. Ooh, a couple more going down as well. Here comes the back. Oh, the flank attempt from Hero Marine. Kills the one disruptor before it can land. But Max Max... No, the Colossus is going the wrong way. Hero Marine, can he keep going? Well, can he clean this up? Oh, disruptor shot. Big connection from Max Max. And that will once again hold the momentum of Hero Marine. Hero Marine will be able to take down that one disruptor, but not going... Well, actually, no buts. He disengages from that other one. Max Max... He built a bunch of Blink DTs. Where did they go? 
Oh, they are with the armor. They're going to jump it on top of this army. There's no scan. There it is now. Disruptor will force this back. Max Pax with a lot of surprise DPS that Hero Marine is really not prepared for. A lot of Hero Marine's army supply is in these medevacs. Command Center is going to fall. Is Max Pax still going to do this? We got 10 Marines coming out at a time. Disrupt oh, the DTs! The DTs wrecking havoc on the reinforcements. Look at that. They are going to rip and tear them apart. All the reinforcements getting taken out, and now the main fight cannot be reinforced by Hero Marine. Max Pax, I think he might have done it here despite everything. What a hell of a game this is between these two. It's so many medevacs and so little bio. Four Marauders, two Marines, and no chance for Hero Marines units. 11 Marines at a time. They are desperately trying to get out, but the Archons are now going to be so good against this. The <laughs> Super Depots doing their best to hold the line. Max Pax is running out of steam, but does he have enough to break through? The medevacs have basically, they're personally healing each bio unit as it pops out. Max Pax loses all of the Archons. I think here Marine has made the hold. GG gets called. What a game, number two. It came down to the freaking wire. And here we go, game three. Spawning up at the top right for Psy Storm Gaming. It is Max Pax in the blue. And his opponent just barely outlasting the Protoss there for Mouse Sports. It is Hero Marine in the red. That was so down to the wire. So down to the wire. God. At one point, it was literally four Marines and two Marauders. And Hero Marine made the hold. Honestly, just a bit of, for Max Pax, relatively basic. War Prism Micro would have won that game. Man. Absolute banger of a game number two. Hero Marine showing so much tenacity, barely, barely scraping out enough units to hold. That was unreal. Man, and that was just game two. That was just game two of the finals. We are lucky to be witnessing play of this caliber. Uh, and once again, we've got a gas first. Gas first, one racks expand. All right. Seems like uh, seems like Hero Marine is testing, testing out some new stuff. Looks like Max Pax double Chrono Boost again on his first two adepts. Reaper not going across the map right away, but will head there now. And the second adept is going to be out in time. This time, Max Pax going back to the Twilight Council. No Stargate opener yet in this series. Hero Marine going to get zoned out. Max Pax just canceling the Adept Shade right away. No reason not to, really. Max Pax will see. Yeah, you've done you've done pretty much the same build again, haven't you? Okay, okay. Oh, Adept is not going to be able to find the Reaper. Reaper will escape on out. Did Hero Marine see the Twilight Council? No, he did not. And the only thing he's seen actually is two Adepts. So the only thing I'd like to see for Max Pax is maybe add on a third Adept just to really sell that it could be Stargate. Funnily enough, we're actually going to see a very similar opening to game number one from Hero Marine, uh, where he died to the four gate blink. And look at that. Max Pax is going back to the four gate blink. But it would be interesting to see if this time the Cloak Banshees actually get big work done. There is no shield battery in the main mineral line this time. Mm. 
Max Max Chrono boosting out Blink wants that out as quickly as possible. Oh. All right. Here, Marine. He starts up Siege Tank production. Goes straight up into it, actually. So it looks like he is anticipating the Twilight Council if he didn't actually scout it. Because uh, otherwise, you would probably want a Cyclone. Like, imagine this army against Phoenixes. It's a bad time. The Banshees are going to have a rough time against the Phoenixes. Uh, the There's no Cyclone to zone out. There's no Vikings. It'd be just a rough time. Oh, look at this. Max Max is going to find the Hellion of his opponent. And now here, Marine is kind of glad with how he's opened this. Because he sees that it is going to be four gate blank. Bunker even being built in the main base. This is a this is a very handy bunker. Uh, but it is rather far away. Okay, now I like it a lot, actually. Ooh, blink forward. Max Max will be forced to lift up that one stalker. It does take a fair bit of hull damage, though, on it. So you're going to blink forward on top of the... Okay, he realizes with the tank behind... Yeah, he, saw, he definitely saw the tank. He realizes that's a... That's a bad blink, and I really appreciate that he does that. Here, Marine. Does have a siege tank in a strong position here. Max Max will be able to find the uh, supply depot, but here comes the Banshees in the natural expansion observer. Well, it is being recalled home. This is the situation that Hero Marine wanted in game number one. Oh man, Hero Marine is getting so much damage with these Banshees. So much damage. 19 probes going down. And they're going to get out. Well, Max Pax is in so much trouble. Here, Marine, all he really needs to do is defend. And in like two minutes time, he's going to be so far ahead. But, oh no, the Unsiege at the worst possible moment. However, he did pull the tank back. Max Pax not getting this bunker, so it's adding on full DPS. Ah, uh, even with that for, for uh, here, Marine, I think he's still fine. Max Pax, yeah, he's going to have to blink back. He loses the War Prism, and now there's no reinforcement potential. Even with the Siege Tank being sieged up here, Max Pax will get clean. Oh, and now the Siege Tank actually gets a couple of good shots against these Stalkers. Max Pax does kill 10 SCVs. And that actually makes it playable from an economic perspective. But he's lost far too many Stalkers here. Uh, he doesn't even get that last SCV to delay the third command center. Uh, yeah, Max Pax just lost way too much. He had to go for that. He had to go for that. There was no choice. And like I said, he evened up the economies. Unfortunately, in, yeah, about a minute and a half now. Here, Marine's going to hit with Stim Combat Shields 1-1. And what is Max Pax going to have to realistically defend against that? He had to warp in more Stalkers so he does have some map presence. And also so he can deal with the Banshees. Even if he kills these Banshees right here, right now. Like, which he won't. The Observer's not in position. Oh, that's going to be another four dead probes. Very nicely done from Big Gabe. Oh. Max Pax. Oh, he does find one of the Banshees here. But the other one will find... Two more probes. It even gets out. Does it? No. Okay. Nice job for Max Max intercepting. Still, it's 10 stalkers. Four gates. Charge. It's only about two thirds of the way done. There's going to be no chance of plus one attack or armor before this attack hits from here, Marine. Here, Marine even going to have concussive shells with this push. And he's also only four SCVs down. Max Max. He would need to be a genuine wizard to be able to hold this uh, hold this next push. Uh, he is going to find two Marauders on the interception. That's really nice. And the best case, or best thing I think Max Pax can do, uh, I was going to say maybe keep, keep fighting there. He's going to try and pull the probe, but this is just way too much bio. And here, Marine will close out game number three. Yeah, I like that uh, Max Pax went for that counterattack 
with the Stalkers. It actually did find some good damage. But wasn't enough to make up for the losses. He just suffered too much damage to the Banshees. Uh, and then he had to go for the Desperation attack with the Blink Stalkers, which was very costly. He still got more value than I expected, but not enough. Not enough. You can tell, though, that he's really looking solid. Damn, four games in a row we're seeing Hero Marine opening up gas first. That is really intriguing. I'm super interested uh, in what his thought process is behind this. You can do a lot off one gas when you open up gas first. Like, you, you just stockpile the gas and your timings are pretty nice. All you're giving up is... You're giving up a little bit of timing on the Orbital Command and a little bit of timing on the Reaper. But it's good to have this in your toolkit, so I like that Hero Marine is practicing it. And practicing it against, uh, in my opinion, now the best PVT in Europe in the form of Max Packs. I think both Showtime and Skillis have a, a claim to it. And especially Showtime recently has looked really good. But I think Max Packs is, at the very least, the best practice uh, for... Yeah, I, I think when you play against Max Pax, if you play competitive games, you are going to get better. He is just so good, and he forces such a high-level response. Yeah, you, you're going to get better when you go against a player of Max Pax's caliber in this matchup. Or in any matchup, really. It's, he's just really good. All right. And once again, it's the Reaper straight up into Reactor. Max Pax opening up uh, Adept Stalker this time. So mixing it up a little bit. Will he open up Twilight Council once more? It is going to be. He just gets that 100 gas. Starts it on up. Meanwhile, Matt, uh, here Marine. I mean, is, is he just going to skip uh, Cyclone once more? Maybe that's what the point of this build is. Maybe he's trying to skip Cyclone. Maybe, hmm. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what else it could be. Uh, Tech Lab does get scouted here. Marines do get a fair bit of damage on this Adept and that will allow the Reaper to finish it off. Oh, the grenade actually got the kill. That's funny. Doesn't happen often. Got it down to 5 HP. And then the grenade actually killed an adept. I don't know that I've ever seen that happen. Huh. Very interesting. Uh, and yeah, once again, quick siege tank. No cyclone. And now for the third game in a row, we're going to be seeing... Well, third of four. We're going to be seeing Max Packs opening up with the uh, four gate blink stalker. Gear Marine, oh, trying to find this one probe, but Max Pack's pulling it back. Ooh, he could have saved the probe by getting the wraparound with his own probes, but he does lose that probe. Gear Marine gets the full scout, sees additional gateways, sees the Twilight Council. Meanwhile, Hellion and the Natural looks like it found a second probe and actually forced a lot of lost mining time in total. Only for a moment, but still kind of nice. More importantly, though, he confirms that it is, in fact, four gate blank. Full wall of the natural from here, Marine. That's going to be very handy against this. Uh, most of the reason you don't see this in... Well, on most maps is it takes a lot more buildings than this to full wall. But in this case, it, that's just pretty great. Uh, here, Marine will, of course, need to be very quick on the trigger with the SCV pull. I love that he's getting a Viking here after the Raven to try and deal with the War Prism. Of course, those are expensive units. You do not want to lose that Viking. And it is it is a little bit annoying to control. Max Pack's going to warp in a few Stalkers here. I am here Four, to be shadows. exact. This is a huge main base, by the way. Max Pack does see where the Siege Tank is. 
will be able to uh, avoid taking any actual hull damage, at least. Oh, there it is. He blinks forward, finds the siege tank, sees the second one pop out. This is looking very scary for Hero Marine once again. War Prism does get pushed back by the Viking, but the Viking will get sniped. Uh, four Stalkers go down for the Raven, the Viking, the Siege Tank. Hmm, how many tanks are there? There's still two. Hero Marine just has so much space to cover. And that Stim... Actually, look at this. Oh, that's such a good Sim City around this tank. But Marines are a little bit far forward. Hero Marine will pull them back. Max Pax blinks forward in on top of the Siege Tank and will take it down. Nice War Prism Micro here to cover that blink, but he is still going to lose a lot of Stalkers. Wow, loses almost all of them, in fact, and all of a sudden, this is looking... Well, this is looking very desperate for Max Pax. Four more Stalkers going to warp on in. Oh, scan. Oh, no. Observer, keep moving. Okay, he gets away. Oh, nice timing on uh, when he goes back in there. Stalkers, ooh. They're going to take some big damage from these siege tanks, but it's mostly shields for now. And look at that. Max Pax just grabs six SCVs. Does take a fair bit of hull damage on a couple of those Stalkers, but he, he gets out with all of them. Ooh, do not drop into natural. Actually, he's got to get out of here. He's got to recall, like, right now. The risk of a Viking popping out. Oh, or that happening is just disastrous. Max Pax. Way too greedy right there. He is up seven workers, but losing a, a war prison with four stalkers inside when he already took rather large losses early on is way too much. And now the scan finds the observer. Max Pax. Ah, uh, this, this looks so brutal for him. Now, combat shields. Hero Marine forgot combat shields. Oh, that's brutal, actually, for Hero Marine. That might give Max Pax an opportunity here. And instead of pushing up the front now, Hero Marine feels compelled to go for a drop in the main. He is going to push at the front as well. This is four siege tanks. This is a lot. Uh, charge is done now for Max Pax, but he's only on... Well, no, he's on eight gates. Still not positioned well enough to deal with this. And all of these S or all these Marines get out. Now, here Marine with no combat shields. Yeah, he can't fight as effectively as, as you'd expect. Oh, he loads up fully into the one medevac and loses it. Max Pax still down 30 army supply, though, and he lost 11 probes just now. Colossus trying to come on in. Max Pax. Uh, can he get in on top of these tanks? No, he will be able to force a little bit of friendly fire from the Zealots, but it's not going to be enough. Max Pax, he is going to get overwhelmed. He was so close to going up 2-0 to zero in this series, but it is looking like Big Gabe will be able to take this one down. Max Pax is going to desperately try to clear this one out. Uh, hallucinating an Archon. Very cool. But it's not enough. Five Siege Tanks now here. Max Pax will be forced to tap out. Hero Marine will take the game and the series. And that will give him the 3-1 and another ESL Open Cup. Thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, content. Make sure to check out my other YouTube videos and appreciate you stopping by. Hit that like and subscribe button.